Hello, welcome to my channel. Hazel is back. As we promised that Hazel would have 500 likes, we will bring her back for more recipes for Diwali. And she actually caught more than a thousand likes. So today she is here to show us some more recipes. Okay, now I'll end you all to my favorite niece, Hazel. <laughs> Thank you, Mosi. <laughs> Hi, uh, this time around I'm going to make some barfi and uh, the ingredients are two cups of fresh milk. I've got 500 grams of klim milk. You can use Nespray milk as well if, if klim is not available. I've got one cup of ghee. I've got 375 grams of icing sugar. I've got a cup of ground almonds and um, I'm going to use a half a tin of the Nestle uh, uh, cream and I've got two tablespoons of sugar. I've got a, a tablespoon and a half of Ilachi powder and I'm going to use a coffee grinder to grind the Klim milk and um, the Nestle cream to form a like a breadcrumb consistency again. Okay, so I've got a nice large mixing bowl and I've sifted uh, the clum milk just to break out any lumps if there were any lumps and they weren't. Then I'm going to add half a tin of uh, Nestle cream into the clum milk and I'm going to mix that, trying to break out any of the lumps. You don't have to worry too much if the lumps are um, too many because the coffee grinder will break them down later. So what we're going to do is once this is nicely mixed, I'm just going to leave it to stand for a little while and then I'm going to move over to the next process and come back to grinding this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring the milk That's the two cups of milk and the two tablespoons of sugar to a boil. My pan is on, on medium heat again, so you don't want it to overboil. And then once this starts to boil, you'll start to see that it heat, it, it's heating up, I'm going to add the ghee to the mixture. Okay, now my milk is boiling, so I'm going to add in my cup of ghee. Okay, and I'm going to allow that to mix in. I've got the, I've lowered the heat now to the low of the medium heat and this is the gas cooker that we're using so to that I'm going to add the icing sugar so this is basically making condensed milk and um, so our cameraman asked me why are we making condensed milk when we can actually use condensed milk and the answer to that is I'd rather use a tried and tested recipe than to alter the recipe. Okay, so I'm just going to increase the heat again to bring this to a boil. And this is going to boil for about five minutes. Um, and we'll start to see how everything blends in. So I've got my milk boiling and it's going to thicken up. Um, so while that is getting ready, I'm going to start with the next step of getting the Clum milk and the Nestle cream 
uh, broken down. So all I'm doing is just adding tablespoons full to a coffee grinder and then you will blend this up till it forms like again breadcrumb consistency. So in an empty bowl that we use to mix the clim, we have this mixture. So it was a quick two blitz or three blitz and we've got this consistency. So I'm going to complete the rest. It's going to, to uh, be done in exactly the same manner. So as you can see, the sugar, the icing sugar and the ghee and the milk has blended well and it's thickened nicely. So from this step, I'm going to add the clum milk into this. Oh, I just want to show you what the clum milk look like finally after I've browned them all. Okay, I'm going to add the um, gr uh, ground almonds as well. And I'm going to add the ilachi. So I've got the um, stove switched off and then once I mix this completely and if I still need to keep the stove on then I will put it on for a little while but it will just uh, depend on how well it mixes and whether I need to burn out a little bit more of the liquid. And from the way it's looking, I think it's coming out perfect. You can see it's separating from the pan quite nicely and that is why it's essential to use a non-stick frying pan or even a pot if you so wish. So I don't think that we have to uh, put, on to, uh, put the heat on anymore because this is just perfect the way it's come out. So the next step that we're going to uh, do from here is that I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. I'm going to allow it to cool and then we will start molding and forming our, banana, uh, our uh, barfi shapes. So now we're going to mold the um, barfis. So we placed the barfi into the fridge for a little while because it was a bit hot and because it is hot in Johannesburg today, it just added a little bit more uh, time to, you know, making the mold, uh, sorry, to making the dough cooler. So after we um, took it out of the fridge, I made it into a, into, a, uh, into a ball, again, exactly the same, into a cookie cutter mold and I press it down, pick it up, and then press it out. And there you have your perfect barfi shape. So the method of making the, uh, the um, barfis is you make a ball out of the dough, and then I'm using the Malaysian cookie cutter to form the shape. So uh, what I do is I take the ball of the uh, barfi, I place it into the Malaysian cookie cutter, and I take the top part of it, or the, the pattern part of it, and I press it down hard to form a shape. Okay, then I pick it out of the wax paper, and I press it out, 
and I pull it out and then there we have the barfi. And I place it on the side, ready for decorating. So again, with this barfi, you can color it into different colors if you want to. Uh, you can make it into different shapes and you can use this as a little bit of a canvas to do whatever artwork you'd like on it. Hi guys, um, so it's Pranesh here and uh, I must come on here with apologies. So the clip of Hazel uh, decorating the barfi unfortunately uh, didn't save to the memory card. But uh, I just wanted to show you how the barfi looked um, at the end. Hazel did do a, a few colors of the barfi and then she used almond flakes um, to decorate it and uh, finish them off, uh, giving them such a lovely, vibrant look. We come to an end of another special day with Hazel, with the just in time for Diwali, making up more sweet uh, items for our platters and giving most of them more uh, ideas what's to be done for Diwali. So this is our final uh, platter that we've made for Diwali. It's our chana magaj, coconut ice and barfi. And yes, that's the end of our Diwali special. Thank you very much, Hazel. And I've got a little Diwali gift for you. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Mosi. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And don't forget to watch Hazel's other recipes for the Diwali. And a very happy Diwali from all of us in advance. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for having me on your channel, Mosi. You're welcome.